You're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try to find some targets in the open field downfield. And somewhat of a measure of revenge. Afternoon off to a great start. Tug of Ilo are going to try and throw on third down. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he is how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. And here comes a return from a few. And all deep in his home territory, he coughs up the football. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. On play action, here's Tua. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's good. Picked off by Jerome Baker. He's got the lane, and there he goes. The 40. The 20. And he will bring it back. It's a pick. Pass a run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. And he's got Rome. 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle. What imposed their will on the defense was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And for the third time here. My career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score. Hard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half, just being torn in shreds or being... And now a fumble. The ball's out, and it's picked. That turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. There he goes, right side. Get off the field. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And all the way. To throw again on second down. Namath. First down and much more for Henry. And he's going to get it. Row. Man open here is Jones. And touchdown. Julio Jones, 34 yards, and that interception key. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. And he's going to be taken down. From midfield, here's Tua. Oh, into a sea of defenders. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And I think they are going to get this one. It puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. Maybe I'd go out there and try and stop them. But boy, what a tough spot they're in. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. He's putting up here. It's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. That ought to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackle him for just a short game. They'll go for it. It's Brady. Pass the 20. 10, 5, and in for the Buccaneers. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. We got to go out there and get some more points. And they're going to have 